Today we're turning up the heat with our Sun Lu AMS heaters. We're going to be upgrading our original AMSs from bamboo to have the dehydration station in them. Uh, stay tuned to the end of the video to get the answer to the ultimate filament question to bamboo or to Sun Lu. Let's get into it. All right, let's get into this and see if it turns up the heat or just my electric bill. First, we're inspecting the inside of the box to make sure there's no damage upon arrival. Every piece of foam turns into feline furniture. Riley's already ready for his new couch. One of the best things about unboxing new items is that they all come in plastic bags. So then, afterwards, you can take out the trash. One of the nice things about this product is the simplicity of its packaging. There's not too much to this unboxing as there are just a few components. Included power cord and inside of the lid there's going to be this foam container that'll have all the rest of the hardware in it. Sunlu did a really good job taping it to the inside of the lid so that it doesn't move around during shipping. So bear with me as I go 10 rounds with this packaging tape. Right here's that foam container that I said all your hardware parts are in it. I really, really enjoy how the aesthetic of this AMS heater lid looks just like the original AMS bottom from Bamboo. And the AMS user manual and then the sacred Sunlu pamphlet, humanity's most renewable resource. And I have to hand it to Sunlu. As you're about to find out, they send you two extra hinges but also more importantly, they know gravity is the enemy and they send you eight, count them, eight extra screws. I'm removing these screws like it's no big deal, completely unaware of the fun that it's going to be to put them back in. There are four screws total, two for each hinge. If you have difficulty getting the screws to come out of the AMS, just flip it over and they should pop out once they're fully loose. Once you're done with that, you can pop out the lid and pull out the old hinges and you'll be on your way. This next part is the only tricky part about the whole assembly process. You just have to find the right hinge for the right side and then get it slotted in there to where the lid will close. took pictures of them because later after this video I had to assemble two more heaters. And you'll fold the lid up and make sure they slot in there correctly and if they don't you'll have to replace the hinges so that they do just like you see here. All right let's make this fun. Count how many times I dropped the screws and the winner gets a free sun loop pamphlet. Here's a hint how many screws fall out of the AMS once I flip it back over. This is definitely the most tedious part of this assembly, and luckily it's right at the end. And just like that, the last screw's in. I do want to give a quick shout out to Sunlu for making these Allen keys extra long, because this would have been impossible without that. And last but not least, make sure your lid functions properly, and a quick side note, your locking tabs will no longer work with this new lid. Now let's plug it in and power it up. Despite the camera glare, the screen is quite readable and clear. And just in case you don't know, PV on the screen means present value, and SV on the screen means stored value. Those were just a couple questions I got from our community members. All right, those are our AMSs upgraded to dehydration stations, thanks to Sunlu. We're gonna go over what we promised earlier in the video on the ultimate filament question to bamboo or to Sunlu. So recently, Sunlu has upgraded their spools that you get shipped to you to 3.0, I believe it is. And now they also offer refills. So I want to take the time and comparison of the two spool systems 
and see which one's better. I can tell you that from personal experience, Sunlu has a little bit better of a price. Usually if I want to order bamboo, I have to wait for a sale or something of that sort. Uh, I don't have to do that with Sunlu. They have great prices all year round. Uh, they do run sales. So uh, check out those sales when they come here, especially around Black Friday. Uh, they have some TikTok sales at times too. But let's get into checking out these uh, beautiful spools. So this is a bamboo refill. It is pink PLA basic. And what I want to do, if I can find my knife, is I want to see if this spool re refill can go on the Sunlu spool and vice versa. So let's check it out. We're seeing if it'll fit on the Sunlu refills spools. For the Sunlu spools, you're going to twist backwards and they come apart. There are on the sides two little notches with arrows. They're kind of subdued that when you go to put them back together, You'll have to match those arrows back up. We'll do that here in just a second. So now we're gonna put those on there. That is, this is the bamboo refill on the Sunlu spool. So then we're gonna find our notches. Here is an arrow. Here is the other arrow right here at the top. We're gonna slide these together. Should be able to force it together and turn. And then there's a second. Should be, if you're having trouble, look at the insides here. Make sure that the pins are lining up. Yep, they're lining up good. And then there should be a audible click like that. And then you have it on the spool. So then you'll take this off. What's nice about this is that if you do order from Bamboo from time to time, your RFID tag will still stay on the spool because it's attached to the cardboard. I'll take that off of there. Take this off of here, this off of here, and last but not least, this one off of here. So now, before you take those off, you want to make sure that it's seated well. I know I should have started with that. Uh, I usually take these little nubs off here from when they're stuck there, and then set this right into here. So, now we see that the bamboo refills can go on the sunloose spools. Let's see if our sunloose refills can go on the bamboo spools. Same kind of locking mechanism here. You're going to spin it backwards, right side backwards, left side forward, just like that. They unlock. This also has the same kind of like little arrow mechanism. You just have to line those up when you go ready to do it. There's an arrow here, arrow here. We're gonna open this up. This is a sunloo refill, PLA plus white. We're going to open this up. I usually save these little things for the refill sections of the AMSs. Don't do that. <laughs> Don't take them off until, <laughs> until you're done. Uh, that'll be a good blooper reel either, or blooper reel for later. So we're going to put our things back here together. Uh, I've done that one time or two, and if you're lucky, you can get it on there. But don't do that right off the bat. Don't do as I do, kids. And then we're going to find our arrows here. There's an arrow on the left here. And we're going to line up our arrow on the right. And again, we're going to come together and we're going to lock it in. Oh, looks like we didn't get it aligned properly. Check in the insides. So looks like there is teeth. one of the teeth didn't catch. So we're going to go from here and here, push together. It takes a little bit of torque sometimes. There we go. It is on there, just like that. So we're going to take, now we're going to take these off here. And sometimes they're a little hard. Yeah, if you can't get it one direction, you pull it the other direction, it should come off there. It should. There we go. Sometimes it's a little stiff to get off of there, but we got one more here. This video was request or this part of the video was requested by a lot of our live stream viewers just to get the comparison between the two. So we got Sunlu refill on bamboo spools. 
So they are now compatible. This is super exciting for me because <laughs> now I don't have to throw a bunch of spools out. I can reuse them and just order the refills. So we'll put this on here and get that lined up there correctly. And check us out on Patreon if you want to support the channel. You can follow us on Facebook. And until next time, be glorious.